a good day to be talking about music so today I wanted to talk about using octaves in your guitar playing so an octave is like say I play an E note and then I play the same I play an E note but a different pitch of that same note so an octave is like playing the same note but a different pitch so like if I went like this e and e. what I'm gonna be talking about today is playing together not separately so like if you were to go like that and learning how to play a major scale using octaves and a minor and how you can incorporate that into your playing. So let's look at octaves. So I'm gonna start on the um, fifth string, seventh fret with my first finger, right? I'm gonna have my finger on that note, but I'm gonna mute out with that same finger the string right next to it, which is the D string. I don't wanna hear that string, right? I'm gonna put the third finger on the ninth fret of the third string, okay? So what I'm gonna do is strum right through those and play this. So you notice that middle string is muted, so you're not going to hear it, but, right? So that's how you would play an octave, and you can move that shape up. Kind of like that. So, pretty simple idea, but really effective. Um, I'm going to show you how to play the major scale using an octave first, using octaves. Um, remember the formula we talked about in the other video for a major scale. It's whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So let's try it using octaves. Here we go. Right? So that's a good thing to practice. Say you're playing something in E major, like just an E to an A chord. Simple thing, right? I can do like kind of walk up the scale like that and come up with some cool ideas um, and shift it around a bit. So the minor scale using octaves will be whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Let's look what that would sound like. Um, this sounds good in like darker music like metal and you know some more alternative stuff. Um, one of my favorites kind of like the gothic metal type stuff. So you got this kind of thing happening. <laughs> So say I was doing um, like this, just an E power chord, right, grooving on that. That type of thing, right? So minor, sounds really cool. So um, yeah, work on that using octaves in your playing. I chose E, I played E major and E minor as scales and just remember the formula for the scales um, and you can play them from any key so for major whole step whole step half step whole step whole step whole step half step right for minor whole step half step whole step whole step half step whole step whole step y'all have a great day i'll talk to you soon